Hello everyone! Hi, I'm ExtraCheesy87, and this is Let's Play Trails from Zero Part 77. In the previous video, we finally confirmed, uh, what we kind of already knew, is that uh, Revanche is apparently distributing drugs, and that is the cause of everyone being so dang strong and aggressive, or at least not everyone, but some civilians and Revanche members. Uh, we came back to the Chief to uh, put everything together, and then old Dudley came, and he's going to share us some... Strictly confidential information. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be in here. But honestly, who cares? Stick around. Uh, should you be feeding candy to dogs? I mean, I mean, I guess it would be fine, right? I mean, technically he's not a dog, he's a big old wolf, so. Ooh. Inside pressure? It's almost like the first division is corrupt and incompetent, like we've been saying since the start of, since the, start of the game. Okay, so they've known about the drugs for a little bit then. So that means they have been circulating for at least some time. We're the greatest, okay? Okay. Long time informant. I wonder if that's like someone will actually. Like, if that's just like a random one off person or if that's like an actual character. Urban legend. Oh, there was some NPC that mentioned something about urban legends. Oh, I can't remember where it was. But like in the very beginning of the chapter, they say something about like, you know, ah, I can't remember. I wonder if that was another little bit of uh, foreshadowing or a hint about what was about to start happening. Oh, what was that line again? You're in the middle of combining a list of involved citizens before it was put on ice. Hmm. Unzips. I mean, pop one and find out. Maybe then you'll actually be a good detective. Sure. I just think I ordered a shock of a kidney. Some of the Also, you say allowed to keep them. I mean, we're allowed to keep whatever the hell we want, okay? We're the police. Well, maybe not whatever the hell we want, but... Huh. No, I'm just, I could not possibly believe that. Is it really, though? Oh, Joseph 
それにランディにティオこれより特務支援課は非公式に捜査一課と協力体制に入る、okay. that's, that's fun. 身動きの取れない一課に代わってこのまま薬物捜査に当たれ We were kind of gonna do that anyway, so. Yo, k a i s h i m a s t a Sono Mikaeli Dana. Ikakarava, Mafia Kanden no Joko, Musegan de Mawasimura Kotonis. It seems like a sweet deal for us. We get to do the thing we were already going to do, and we get some info about Revanche. Sergei, so. Ikra Nandemo Gokijo, Musegan to you know, Sasani. There's any Kotirawa Kamawan. そちらが手詰まりになろうが勝手に動くだけだからなわ<笑>かりましたその条件で構いません<笑>決まりだないやあの一家に代わってわざわざ俺らが動いてやるわけかなかなか優越感をくすぐられる状況ですね<笑> I mean, we've kind of already done the first division's work before, but. Ooh, <laughs> 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 That's why Randy and Tio are my favorite. <laughs> Well, obviously, the drug is made of drugs. You know? <laughs> Do we have anyone? I mean, I guess we could go to the college, maybe. Get it analyzed? Narihoto. <laughs> Yeah, okay. that's kind of what I was thinking. We should at least get some sort of idea. Wait, who are we talking about? What doctor specializes in pharmaceuticals? The only real doctors we're acquainted with are Rago and、uh, Blue Hair. But Blue Hair is neurology. Rago might be a pharmacologist. A pharma is pharma, you know, the, you know the word, right? Alright. Dude, you can't pause for that long, okay? You can't pause for fucking two seconds and then start your, di your dialogue. You're gonna make me skip it. <laughs> We could say the same to you, dude. Oh, absolutely not. I wonder if also part of it is like he wants to,、uh, he doesn't want Lloyd to get in, because we know that he and Guy were apparently. I mean, he was close enough to be at his funeral, so. I mean, granted, it's like a police funeral, so they typically invite everyone, but.、Uh, <laughs> it could be kind of like his way of maybe protecting Lloyd for Guy. Like, I don't think Dudley's a bad dude, even though I do like to make fun of him. <laughs> まあ、借地上着で融通が効かないやつも多いんだがな。さてと、お前ら、早速病院に向かうのかうん、probably。ええ、そのつもりです。それと、時間があれば、他の支援要請も片付けておこうかと。Oh, well, maybe, well, this is
市外に出る暇もなかったしま忙しくなりそうだからぼちぼち片付けた方が良さそうだな<笑> All right. 元気なことで結構だ Maybe do also a quick tour to see if dialogue's updated? かと協力することになったとはいえお前たちが気負う必要はないいつも通りお前たちのやり方でその薬物の謎に迫ってみせろはい Alright, that reminds me, what is the name of this chapter? Creeping Wisdom. I think that's the name of the drug. Okay, so it is that dude. Was he really a pharmaceutical dude? Oh, okay, it was pharmacology. Okay, it was pharmacology. なんとかその先生が頼りになるといいんだが。Oh, well, I don't trust the dude. Don't tell us. 課長その何か気がかりでもまあな。筋力、スピード、集中力、感。そういうものは薬物で生理的に高めることはできるのかもしれん。だが、月ってのはあげられるのか。I mean, probably not, considering that's like an artificial concept. それは普通に考えたら無理だと思いますけどでもあのガンツさんは月もすごかったという話よねああどんなギャンブルも勘と駆け引きだけで勝ち続けられるもんじゃねえ女神を味方に引き入れたかそれともあくまでもないフレーズだレンディメンティオシーノーサンフルそうだな And、we'll eventually learn, but. Tio. Dikiriba, so not a rino to a kitchen to touch come to put it in. Hi. So not more this. Okay, so does the Sergei know Tio knows? Do us the Tio. Nani Kaido no Kashira. He would probably know her full background, I would assume. Kind of, kind of an. Interesting little scene. What do we got? We got two new ones. Search for an important person. Representative Campbell? Oh, we finally got to get to meet this man. Okay. Collecting flowers, old man Quint. I remember you. All right. We can do that. Did we report our stuff? Eh, we did report our stuff. I couldn't remember. So, where's old Kia at? Hello, girly. You guys have to leave again? Sorry, Kyo. I got something to take care of. We'll be back by evening, okay? Want us to buy a souvenir while we're out? Uh, you don't have to do that. Coming home safe is good enough for me. Oh my god. Kia. My heart. Her smile has pierced my very soul. That grim atmosphere ran away at the first sight of her smile. Huh? Grr. 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 So we're going to Camp Mill. Camp Bell. I guess we can also pop by, uh... Hey, Wars. Got all the new dialogue. Doesn't look like it. I'm still saying the same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Creel. He's, he's on the drugs. Hmm. And the whole city's got a freaking dang drug problem all of a sudden. Kind of, well, before we go to Campbell, I mean, it doesn't seem like major dialogue is updated, but I do want to just pop in the brace wheel real quick, just to see. Make sure you guys are all good. Okay, Arius is gone, so maybe there is some new dialogue. I think we finally got a good idea of the situation, but I don't think it's about to break out into a conflict. This is beyond my wildest belief. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't think it's about to break out into a conflict. Got to rearrange the schedule to make sure the team's available 24-7. Everybody, well, wait, no, no, no. You guys have been deployed. Oh, they're in Acacia. Where is that? Oh, that's their, their house. Okay. Aris is on standby. Scott and Winslow in the back alley. Lynn and Aeolia. I mean, you know what we got to do. Oh, so you've all come. I understand you've already met with uh, Heyu's cat, Sal. How do you keep doing that? Where'd you hear that from? Hm. Information like that will reach our ears within minutes. But I've gathered, hey, you doesn't plan on exacting revenge quite yet, correct? 
That sounds about right. Still didn't change the fact that we're on the verge of a messy, messy situation. You cannot discount the possibility of their main headquarters intervening either. Clear that Hayo is a massive crime syndicate, wholly responsible for controlling Hal Halvard's underworld. Underworld. However, they split their organization into numerous smaller units, so they're essentially divided. Sal may be able to prevent them from retaliating prematurely. Makes sense. Surprisingly well informed in their affairs, aren't you? I mean, that's that's kind of his job. I found myself traveling to the Republic on work-related business frequently. It may be dangerous, but I don't believe them to be a ruthless murder murderer of the innocent. Far more worried about Revanche, quite frankly. Yeah, I'm, same. I don't, don't definitely don't trust the old the Mark Holmsters. Or Garcia, for that matter. But, uh, you know, I mean, you know, we gotta pop over. See what they're up to. So, just a, a little light stalking. Oh, back from the guild already, Joshua? Yeah, they dismissed us for the time being. I'm under the impression that, hey, you won't retaliate for a while. But now we've been put on standby within the city, given the unpredictable nature of the situation. One heck of a dispute between the two mafias. I hope we'll be able to prevent disaster from striking. Bell admiring her shoe collection. So I was staring intensely at the shelf filled with sneakers. Okay, just to be extra careful, I'm going to go ahead and change into my lucky sneakers. You have lucky sneakers? Decisions, decisions. The anniversary edition looks like it has good footing, but the limited edition soles are firmer. Ah, I like both of them too much to properly make a decision. Look like we might have to take a media... Oh, just put one on one foot and the other on the other foot. It's like I'm going to have to take immediate action on the whole Mafia ordeal, so I'm doing it once over my equipment to be extra careful. Don't you guys think it would be totally important to have a good pair of shoes on your feet? Might come as a real shocker, but I totally recommend trying out Strega's. Is she, has a spokes so is she a spokesperson for Strega or what? Uh, pretty much. I basically should have her, have her on the payroll. I, mean, I guess they kind of technically did have her on the payroll, like, indirectly. How many requests we did for the, the dude in Zeiss. Time we're over at 17 minutes. We can we can pop over to Wald and Wazi, see if they've got anything new to say. Mm. Raided, Ravante is acting far too recklessly. Won't end with simply taking revenge at this rate, will it? Maybe you may be right. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? If I were if I were hey you, I'd definitely be giving them a nice little thank you for the present they gave. How an F do you have to be to not kill their boss in a raid like that? If I were Ivanche, I would have definitely made plans to silence him permanently. Uh, I sometimes forget how dangerous Wazi can truly be. Oh, Wazi's all bark, no bite. Well, I shouldn't say that. We can go check the, the old vippers. See how they're doing. Yeah, uh, any dinos around here? What's up? Huh? What do you want from me? You got a bone to pick with me? Wouldn't mind thrashing you guys if that's the case. <laughs> little punk thinks he can take Jed's position just like that? Damn it, I wish Wall didn't stop me because I would have beaten his ass in the next week. Would you, though? Both people want to throw down the who's to stop them. The Saber Vipers are all about survival of the fittest. Just me, is everybody acting a little off today? Something happened to the Vipers, Wald? Bunch of pigs like you have no reason to be sticking your nose in our business. Just a stupid argument between a couple of my boys. You get lost or I use your heads as batting practice. Throw down with the vipers, eh? Didn't see that one coming. Or within the vipers. Likewise, Wald usually rules them with an iron fist. Hmm, so Jed's at the hospital. Maybe we can go talk to him if we remember when we go to Ursula? Alcohol man, you okay in there? Well, so let's go talk to Campbell now. What were the other places? The Scott and Wenzel were back alley, and they're in Crossbell Station. I'm gonna try and pop by in Crossbell Station. We typically do, yeah. They usually don't let us go in there unless it's for a quest, it seems. Early, we've only actually got, got to go in there the one time, right? Where's Scott? Where's Scotty boy? I don't really mesh well with these kind of places. I was to say this bar is frequently used by Ravante members. Alright, let's see what we can dig up. 
Alrighty, so Campbell is over here. This is the House of Representative Campbell who sent the request. Also, his last name is, he's got Bell in his name, dude. He was born to rule, Cross Bell. They're uh, searching for someone important, right? It sounds like the representative was freaking out. Hey, doesn't Ellie's Gramps live around these parts? Happen to know this Campbell guy? Well, about so much as fellow neighbors would know each other. Representative Campbell is an ambitious man. He's so driven by his passion for politics that he often brushes aside everything else. See, that matches the way I had envisioned him in my head. Either way, he's requesting our assistance. Let's try asking if he's home. I am kind of surprised we haven't met this dude yet. At least, you know, encountered him in, in some form or fashion. Whatever. Any, any hidden hidden objects? No? First things first, you know, gotta check his house for loot. As you do when you when you enter a new person's home, you uh scour their belongings. And you don't do that when you uh you know go to people's houses? Wow, what a what a weirdo. Now, which now now we have to make an assumption. Who seems like Campbell? Probably this guy. It is. Unbelievable, what a foolish thing to do. I must find a way to retrieve her, Representative Campbell. A daughter or something, or some type of relative? Excuse me, gentlemen. Gentlemen, we're here to regarding the support request. Ah, oh, you're the CPD's uh something or other section. What a relief! We've been something so desperate that we've been willing to scrape the bottom of the barrel. All right, thank you for the request, kind sirs. We will be leaving now. You have utterly disrespected us, and we accept cases on a voluntary basis. Just a moment. Are you not Ellie, Mayor McDowell's granddaughter? Why have you come with them? Uh, it's been some time, Representative. As it stands, I am currently employed by the CPD. I visit you as a detective with the SSS today. Is that the case? Uh, so be it. I suppose the mayor is neutral. Nothing to be concerned about then. But Representative, the Imperial Faction's funny members rely on underhanded tactics. What if they catch wind of this incident? Guessing this could blow up into a major political fallout, eh, L? Possible. Talking to diet members always makes me feel uncomfortable. And you thought you wanted to be a politician. Excuse me, Representative Campbell, can you describe the situation in great detail? You have a troubled look on your face. You seem to recall the support request seeking assistance and searching for an important person? Right, you are. I've run into a bit of a snag. I suppose I have no choice but to explain, explain the situation to you. Let me make one thing clear to you. This is a politically sensitive matter. Just saying, if it's like his fucking cat has, been, has disappeared, I'm going to be so mad. The Republican faction has been placed into a difficult situation. This must remain, remain strictly confidential. Understood, we promise to keep this under wraps. I swear to remain silent about the investigation, Representative. Very well then, uh, listen up. A certain member of our faction has disappeared. Could you elaborate? It happens to be my very own daughter. She has run away from home along with our maid. Uh, this dude's still acting pompous after his daughter peaced out. <laughs> My daughter, you've heard of Carla? We were classmates in Sunday school. Ah, really? Well, the representative and his daughter have never been on particularly good terms. The relationship seems to be entirely composed of petty arguments. However, the timing couldn't be worse. Our main supporter, Heyu, was raided this morning. Dealing with the aftermath has been cumbersome. That utterly foolish daughter, daughter of mine. I would normally leave her to her own devices during a hectic period like this. However, recent reports have shown that the Mafia spats are becoming more dangerous. Far too dangerous to leave two girls wandering around on their own. Yeah, I'd be worried about your daughter's well-being if I were you too. Not only that, but if this were to become publicized, the Imperial Faction could use it as ammunition against me. Can't put your guard down during the diet, so I would prefer any to avoid any scandals. And with that, I request you, the SSS, to discreetly apprehend and return my daughter to me. Apprehend is not the fucking word I would use. All it comes down to protecting his reputation then. I suppose it's how these bigwigs think. I already assumed as much. I'm sure he's at least somewhat concerned for her. There's a fair chance his daughter might be in harm's way. Agreed. We understand the situation, sir. We accept your request to search for your daughter. Oh, thank God he is. Bring her back. Immediately. I can't promise we'll be able to do it quickly. But we'll locate your daughter and provide protection until we safely brought her home. Very well. I suppose I'll leave it to you then. Proceed however you like. Leave his daughter left a note in her room. That note may prove useful towards your investigation. Thank you for letting us know. We'll take a look at it then. Oh, and I had to guzzle down some water there really quick. 
Now, a note in her room. Looks like she left her message in this notebook. Let's see what it says. I've had enough of you, Father. Feel free to do as you like, just as I intend to do now. I brought the maid with me. If you're bothered by your, that your meals will no longer be made for you, then I'm glad. Where do we even begin? Classic case of the apple not falling far from the tree. She's not any less selfish than him. Instead of Campbell is the type to put his work ahead of his home life. Now that I think about it, Carla would often complain about her father in Sunday school. I wouldn't be surprised if a sudden falling out caused her to run away from home. However, the notebook fails to provide a clue as to where we should begin our search. The only detail was given that she ran away from home by her own volition. Well, there's something we can assume. She has to be staying somewhere. Uh... But what did the actual note say? I've had enough of you, Father. Feel free to do as you like. I mean, she probably planned it. I mean, if it was sudden, you wouldn't be able to get the maid to come with you. You probably had to convince her, so... Must have been premeditated. Sure, man, wouldn't the letter have been more clearly thought out if it was? I'm sure she would have written her note more cleverly to express her feelings of resentment towards her father. Whatever. I guess that does make sense. But, like... I don't know. I just feel like the maid, like, the maid would need some convincing. Hope it hasn't been too long. Our search will be much more difficult if she's far gone. Gone far. It's possible to tell the, the information we have at this time. Let's try and get some more information from the representative before we come to any conclusions. Shall we return here to summarize the details once we finished? I guess. Small rules like everybody having to eat breakfast together. It's actually quite obvious that his daughter despises such trivial trivial uh, trivialities. The suffocating nature could be the reason behind their discord. But despite that, she still adhered to his rule and joined him for breakfast. Oh my privy to such knowledge? Well, I ate breakfast with him, of course. Neither the diet meeting and the Hey You incident, this morning was absolutely exhausting. I had even more appointments in the afternoon, so I came to rest at home for a bit. I did, I couldn't find my daughter or her maid anywhere. I became suspicious when I saw a note she left behind. I guess she's the defiant type. I doubt we'd have any ideas on where she would go. Okay. Uh. Oh, we didn't learn shit. How long ago do you think she ran away from home? Well, it was today. Good question. They probably left, uh, this mor- just now? Well, this morning. Still be able to catch up with her. Don't know where the hell she ran off to, though. Maybe we should ask her friends about it? Maybe they got a clue for us. I don't think we have time for that. If we consider the circumstances, it's definitely a place she would have visited. She left morning without having planned to. The bank. Yeah, we see, right? Makes sense to me. Our escapee probably needs some dough for a getaway. I suppose it's the most logical step she would take, eh? If she suddenly left and we wouldn't have had much time to pack. The IBC is certainly a possibility. Shall we depart for the IBC then? She may still be there. I mean, it's either that or you gotta go back close, I guess. You didn't pack anything, but... You would still need to go get money. Thing going on in the library. You're still just talking about the books. Now, I in the IBC, where would I be? I'll see her. See Stockman. Alright, we made it. I always feel like they're running a huge ass facility when we come in here. Uh, because they are? I presume the representative's runaway daughter may have stopped here. Shall we inquire with the receptionist? Let's ask Lomfi to see if she knows anything about it. What the hell? A temporary suspension of the Crossbell Times? Unbelievable! I am outraged! I look forward to reading through the column of the economic section in every issue. I don't believe this is the first time I've ever heard of it. Are you trying to insult me? Ah! <laughs> hey again, Mr. McDowell. Do you need help with anything? Hey, Lanfe, I'm just here to ask you a quick question. Did a lady by the name of Carla stop by here today? I think she may have been with here with a maid. Oh, I do seem to remember Carla coming by earlier. 
told me she had urgent mis business to discuss with Miss Croix. The bell? Uh, she consented to it, so I directed her to the top floor. Oh, we got her trapped, dude. Mind if we go and ask uh, Maria Bell about it? Or Maria Bell? Uh, we're conducting an investigation. I think you should be okay to talk with her right now. I believe she's currently in the CEO's office. Alrighty. Let's get cracking. Absolutely, Randy. Anything, any, any views over here? We could pop in. I don't trust you. You better not come to life and eat her. Okay, she's not here. I'm so sick of this. I've been stuck in meetings all day thanks to the Rabanche buffoons. Fortunately enough, I don't think their little raid will affect our stock prices negatively. I want to kick down their door and demand compensation for all the hassle they put me through. See, this is the way you need to be acting, Lloyd. Talking about kicking down their door. My life never seems to get any easier. Especially bad right now since father's away at the moment. Oh yeah, so you need something, Ellie? Judging by the crowd you brought with you, it doesn't seem to be a personal issue. That's what I need to ask you, though. Carla should have stopped by the IBC earlier today. Did you happen to see her? Hmm, Carla? Oh yeah, she definitely came here not too long ago. I'm acquainted with her given that we're both in the upper echelons of society. Uh, Brag about it, why don't you? She claimed to have an emergency and wished to speak with me directly. She proceeded to withdraw every last Mira out of her savings account. Damn, we were right on the money. Why did she have to speak directly to you for that, uh, Mario Bell? I think the receptionist would have been able to handle her request just fine. It has to do with the amount she withdrew. Under normal circumstances, you need to fill out the appropriate paperwork. Today was an exception. As you might be able to surmise, I am unable to explode the, the exact amount she withdrew. That said, it was in the hundreds of thousands of Mira. That is an exorbitant amount of money. The truth is, Carla has to run away from home. We've been tasked with bringing her back safely. You know where she might have gone, Belle? Well, maybe you shouldn't have put so much money in her savings account. If you didn't want her to run away. Well, that would explain her rash behavior. Judging by the amount she withdrew, I'd assume she's planning to re relocate to a foreign country. That could be it. So, we probably want to go to the airport. Or the train. Now that I think about it, I recall a conversation between her and her maid about sightseeing in Gransel. So the train, I don't think, goes to Libral. Um, so, probably the airport. Actually, I guess we don't know, but... Where the train goes. Ansel, isn't that Libral's capital city? He's ditching this joint for Libral? He must have divided, departed for the airport then. We may have to arrive on time if we proceed with haste. Let's notify the airport's receptionist. Right, we have to hurry. Sorry to bother you. We appreciate your com co cooperation. See you later, Belle. Sure. You sure know how to keep busy. Damn right we do. Damn right we do. Oh, gotta run. Gotta go fast. I think it's like Ursula Road would be the quickest way. But let's also save. Actually, that just reminds me. I need to be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, let's uh, let's go. Uh, see if we can find old Girly. I was want to stay in Crossbow for a little while longer. Not too bad. Hurry up! We don't board soon. We're gonna miss our flight. It's Anton. What's up, buddy? Hey, all, uh, thanks for all the help yesterday. Anton, are you returning home? Sadly, no, there's nothing left for me. Uh, sadly so, since there's nothing left for me here since Bram rejected me and all. Truly really unfortunate. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm used to this sort of thing. <laughs> Seeing that pure smile form in her lips as she talked about the person she loves, it basically killed me inside. The person she loves. Should we tell her that she met the Sergeant Major? Eh, cool by your head. That talk could probably get a little more confusing than uh, we want to deal with. Agreed. I feel horrible for him, but uh, honestly, if he was just, you know, wants to live in suffering, we shouldn't do anything to help him. I mean, I feel like we should let him know that it's up to Anton whether he wants to stay depressed forever or actually learn from his rejection this time. Let's all uh, keep watching after the poor guy. I'm his only friend after all. Dude, this fucking story of Anton is too depressing. A brutal rejection in Live and a gentle one in Crossbell. Hey, Ricky, what's there to live for now? Oh my, Anton, please! Don't don't, don't talk like that, buddy. We're, we're here for you. What are you talking about? Uh, they're pets? You're like, oh, stupid, 
stupid animals, why do they gotta make noise? Excuse me, do you have a moment? We have a bit of an emergency. Oh dear, what is it? You see, an individual by the name of Carla Campbell should have boarded an outgoing flight flight to Liberal. I'm wondering, has that airship finished boarding yet? I said Carla Campbell, if you give me a moment, please. I'm terribly sorry, but uh, Carla Campbell wasn't listed as a passenger. Are you positive? Well, I mean, she could be using a different name. That's strange. I could have sworn that she was planning on taking this flight. Only one flight scheduled today. It's heading for Liable, right? Correct, and it hasn't departed yet. Par pardon me. Is that her? Knew it. You're the police, aren't you? Hello? Are you Marsha? One of the maids of Representative Campbell's mansion? Ma mansion? Dude, I can't fucking talk. Are you the maid that ran away with Carla? That's right. Say, uh, you see, Lady Carla never intended to go to Liberal in the first place. That was merely a rumor she spread to throw her father off her tracks. In actuality, she plans to live in the home of an acquaintance in the Republic. Oh no, we gotta go to the train station. She's going to Calvert. Crap, then she must have gone to the station then. You hurry, you might make it in time. I'm sorry, my lady has caused so much trouble for everyone. But if at all possible, please bring Carla back home. Despite what she says, she doesn't really want to leave Crossbell. But she still has some got some regrets, huh? No well, time to roll. We'll bring her back for you, don't you worry. She's Republic found the train will be departing in a matter of minutes. How do you know that? Thank you, Marsha. You were a big help. Marsha, could you go inform the representative of what's happened? You can leave bringing Carla back to us. Oh, okay. Please, I'm leaving Lady Carla in your hands. Yeah, uh, any rich girls around here? We're about to start investigating that mess with the mafia. You gonna hurry or something? Uh, kinda. That's funny. Didn't I like, just mention how like we don't get to go to the the thing unless we're for you? Oh, you're quiet. Okay, I was like, you look familiar. I couldn't remember why. You're from our that other side quest we did. Yeah, any, uh, any Carlos around here? I get tickets to see that Gambler Jack stage play. That'd be great. It was based off the best-selling novel of the same name. Yeah, I'm totally familiar with that that novel. I read all one chapter of it that I found. I know. I'm, I'm trying to. I don't know how to leave. Arabonia. Did we? Isn't that the train the representative dog? Like, am I actually, like, gonna... Okay, I don't know. I was like, was it was me goofing around and not going instantly gonna bite us in the ass? Okay, well, it's a Calvert we go. Let's go. Field trip. And the gang never returned from Calvert. The end. Hey, those are monsters. We cut that close. Wonder if we'll get in trouble for not following protocol. Officers should be allowed to board trains during emergency, so don't have to worry about that. However, the problem remains. What do we do now? Claim must have been Scarlet to return home, correct? Yeah, we can't ride on this train forever, you know. Uh, we still gotta drop all those drugs to St. Ursula, ain't that right? True, we haven't come this far to simply give up. It's an Altair located at the western edge of Calvert. Hey, they've mentioned that back in the beginning of the game. Enough third about 30 minutes. Okay. I do wonder if, like, if we had gone instantly, if it would have been different. I feel like. But she's gonna be by herself. Maybe that, yeah, purple girl? Hey, finally found her. Now we just have to persuade her to return home. The odds of her listening to reason still seem slim. Wait, wait, wait. Horrid state? Never heard of that place before. Got some got some big farms. I know we're supposed to be talking to you, Carla, but maybe we'll get, get some intel. Tell me Marsha missed the train. I'm all alone now. Can I handle this? Long time to see, Carla. Ellie, what are you... What a coincidence running into you here. 
Are these your friends? Or are you planning to spend a day or two in the Republic? Uh, <laughs> well, Carla, how should I start this? So. I mean, technically we're on a trip to the Republic. So, how do, how do we want to do this? Do we want to directly come out and state it? Or do we want to try and... Think, cause she, we know she has regrets, right? Maybe we can convince her indirectly that she doesn't want to go to the Republic. Uh, exactly. I thought it'd be fun to see the Republic's National Orchestra with everyone. Really? Then we can accompany each other until we arrive at the Republican Capitol. I'm so thankful I ran into you, Ellie. Truth be told, I'm feeling a little down. After all, I'm alone on this giant train and... Bro, looks like we've lowered her guard. Why exactly are you here, Carla? Well, it's a long story. Father has always ordered me around, filling my life with rules and more rules, ones that he doesn't even respect himself. And this morning was the perfect example of it. I'll never forgive him for what he did, which was... Whatever it was, it sounds bad. After breakfast, he walked into my room without knocking. That's it? That's it? Of course it's not just that. What if I was changing? More importantly, Father's the one always lecturing me about how I should always knock. Even though he throws a fit when I forget to do that. So, this, this is her complaint. Wah, wah, wah. I grew up rich and with all the money to do whatever I want in life, but sometimes my dad forgets to knock. Wah, wah, wah. That's what you sound like, you. I mean, obviously, you should respect people's privacy, but at the same time, Ann Campbell seems like a bit of a dick, but you gotta understand, you come from enormous privilege, and this isn't a big deal. But at the same time, she is a, you know, fully grown woman, and if she wants to go to the Republic, honestly, I don't think we should be stopping her, but... This morning, he calmly strode to my room, commanding me to do this and that and to attend a dinner party in the evening, and then... He pries into every small little detail of my private life. It's like I can't do... He, can, he can't do anything but that. I like with how she feels, but this is nothing more than a misunderstanding between father and daughter. How should we handle this? Did you try locking your door? I don't really like this one. It, it feels like victim blaming. I mean, even though it's not like a real, you know, thing. And honestly, he might prevent her from locking the door. So. I mean, there's two ways this could work out. One, she could be like, oh, okay, maybe there's something I could have done. Or there could be like the father doesn't let her lock her door and he gets mad and then it's like, ah. My heart, my, my initial intuition is to say this. Why don't you start locking the door to your room? That's not the point. My point is that I can't forgive him for being the only one allowed to be selfish in the house. Okay. So it's the first time I've ever left Crossbell. Okay, well... We're, like, fucking this quest up bad, it feels like. The only reason I decided to go through this plan was because Marsha said she'd accompany me. I get the gist of this mess, but she still looks hesitant, right? She never had the strongest heart to begin with. Because she ran into the house in a hurry, but I bet with every step she became more and more uneasy. She'd almost be at a breaking point. Okay, let's, uh, let's go your maid is worried sick. I was wondering why I still hadn't seen Marsha. Also, we technically did just come out and say that... We, we gave away our, our... We blew our cover. Except I specifically ordered her not to tell anyone. I fear that Marsha informed us of the situation, but that's only because she's worried sick about your safety. That what she says, she doesn't really want to leave Crossbell. Her words, not mine. Marsha, she really said that? I'm leaving Lady Carla in your hands. That was her farewell before we made our way to the station to find you. Well, I think it'd be best if you had another talk with your pops. Instead of running away, wouldn't it feel better to say what you want to say to his face? Maybe you're right. Hard to think there was no one at my side. If Marsh was waiting for me, I don't mind returning home. Um, everyone, perhaps could you stay with me a bit longer and let me get everything out of my system? Gods, I really try to think about what I should say to Father. Sure, we can do that. We should be near Altier. I think we should, we, but we still have the ride back. If you want the company? We'd be glad to oblige. Would we though? Boyd and the others transferred in Altair for a return trip, and 30 minutes later... Who? 
we're finally back. Well, various factors delayed our return. Sorry for the trouble I've caused. Really thank you for listening to what I had to say. Please don't worry about it. We just said we can't handle consultations. You can count on the SSS to lend you an ear whenever you need it. Thank you. Uh... And I had a bit of a sneeze there. How dare you worry me at a time like this, you daft girl. Speak for yourself, father. You couldn't even bother to find me yourself, so you sent the police in your stead. She's got a point. Excuse me, Lady Carla. My apologies. I just was so terribly worried. You were in on it too, Marsha? Forgive me. I'm still mad at you, but thank you, Marsha. Will you return to my side? Of course, I'd be happy to. Oh, thank heavens. I think I'd finally made up my mind. I have a request, father. You must knock every time you wish to enter my room. Every time, okay? In addition, you may no longer intrude upon my private life. And if you refuse, I'll be hopping back on the train and I won't look back. Hmm. Fine. You have to stay home and behave yourself for a while, though. But first. Sir. I don't know why. Accent just came out real strong there. So are you uh, honoring my request or are you refusing it? Well, I don't want to be worried or have another falling out. I'll accept your terms. But this is the power of the something or other section. For the time being, allow me to thank you for safely bringing my daughter home. However, not a word of this incident is to escape your lips to anyone. Am I understood? Yes, your majesty. My lips are sealed, so you can rest easy. Fine, then. Leaving, Carla. You don't need to command me. Ellie, everyone, until we meet again, can't thank you enough for all that you've done. Please feel free to drop by our house whenever you'd like. We welcome you with open arms. It, like, we really should have just let her leave. Guess that settles that. Even though that took forever, I'm glad we helped him out. Just about their conversation, I think they will work things out. What a relief. Anyway, Louie, we should get going now. There's still some requests you can finish up today. Hey, yeah, good point. Shall we get to it, guys? Alrighty, we will do that. In the next video, because oh my god, this went kind of long. I am Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.